Intro Hey what is up mortals it is here. And before we get into the video there are a few things I'd like to say. If you'd like to support us and our content please go over there and check it out. Thirdly, if you have a what if idea and you want it done by us of SAP, you can now commission it from us. Go into the discord that is in the description of this video. And DM the head writer, tell him your idea and he will explain the process to you. Now with all that out of the way, let's get into the video. Lastly, this is video is written by Noah Stories. Link to his channel in the description. Please check him out after the video. Where we last left off Midoriya. And Yuraka managed to beat Bakugou and Ada in the versus fights. Thanks to Midoriya's quick thinking combined with the help of the Venom symbiote. The next day when Midoriya arrives at Yue. He finds the entrance surrounded by the press and paparazzi. Christy Shimamira. Hey you, can you tell us what it's like to work so closely with All Might? Midoriya. I'm sorry, I have to get going to class. Um, yeah, right away. Midoriya leaves, passing the UA gate, where the press can't follow. Venom, why did you run from them? Midoriya. I just got a bit nervous, that's all. After Midoriya leaves the press keep asking questions to students as they arrive. Until Aizawa comes out. Christy Shimamura. Can you please get All Might for us? Also you look like you need some sleep. Aizawa. All Might is not on campus today. Now leave you've disturbed my students enough already. Aizawa then leaves as the press protests. Later in the 1A classroom, Aizawa. Decent work on yesterday's combat training. You guys, I saw the video feeds and went over each of your team's results. Okay, let's get down to business. Our first task will decide your future. The whole class gets nervous, wondering if it's another quirk test. Aizawa. You all need to pick a class representative. The class after a bit of deliberation ends up deciding on a system to vote the class rep. Midoriya ends up with the most votes, having three, so Midoriya becomes the class rep and Yamomo is the vice rep having gotten two votes. After class Midoriya goes with Ida and Yuraka to eat lunch. Yuraka, uh, it's always so crowded in here. Ida, that's probably because the students from the hero, support and general studies share the same cafeteria. Midoriya. Guys I'm not sure about the class rep thing I'm not sure I'm qualified. Venom, you are great for the job. Don't worry about it. Yuraka. Sure you are. Venom, see even the girl agrees with me. Aida, don't worry. In battle you had a lot of courage and thought very quickly. You have the attributes a great leader needs. That's why I voted for you at least. Midoriya. What you did. Yuraka. Wait Ada didn't you want to be rep really badly? I mean you do look the part because of the glasses. Ada. Wanting a job and being suited for one are two completely different things. Observing the Ida family agency has taught me that. Midoriya and Yuraka. Agency? What are you talking about? Midoriya. What does your family do? Ida? Oh, it's nothing. Yuraka. You know, I've been wondering something about you, admitted Ida you're filthy rich. Ida. I was afraid people would treat me differently if they knew about my family. Midoriya and Yuraka glare at Ida. Ida, you see. The Adas have been pro-heroes for generations, it's an outblood. Yuraka and Midoriya. That's awesome. Ida. Are any of you familiar with the Turbo Hero Ingenium? Venom. Is he the fast one? Midoriya. Yes, he is. I know all about him. He is a super popular pro with 65 sidekicks working alongside him at his Tokyo agency. Don't tell me. Ada, he's my older brother. Yuraka. Wow. Ada, your family is famous. Midoriya. I can't believe it. Ada, Ingenium is an unmatched commander who honors the hero code. And I strive to be just like him. The three of them continue talking for about a minute when an alarm sounds. Alarm, warning, level 3 security breach. Please exit the building in an orderly fashion. Ada, what's a level 3 security breach? A third year student. It means that somebody has managed to get past the school's barriers. This hasn't happened in my three years here. We should get going. Iraraka. Midoriya and Ida rush to the exit, but a huge crowd forms and they are caught in it. Midoriya and Ida are pushed against the window, seeing the press outside. Ida. Yuraka make me float. Yuraka tries to, but can't reach Ida. Venom, this is uncomfortable. Midoriya. Yes it is. A black goop starts appearing on Midoriya's legs and he jumps with some of the Venom suit manifesting on his arms too. Midoriya runs on the roof towards the exit. Venom. Should probably warn them about press outside. Midoriya. Hey everybody listen to me. There is nothing to worry about. It's just the press. They have managed to make it into school grounds. There's nothing to worry about. The students start calming down. 
Random UA student. Look the police are here. The incident is taken care of and later the students return to class. The next day All Might is running late on his way to school because he is constantly fighting villains on the way there. In the 1A classroom. Aizawa. Today's training will be a little different. You'll have three instructors. Me. All Might and another faculty member will be keeping tabs on you. Zero. Sir. What kind of training is this? Aizawa grabs a small that reads rescue. Aizawa, rescue. We'll be dealing with natural disasters. Shipwrecks. Stuff like that. And the class gets excited. Aizawa. Guys I'm not finished yet. What you wear in this exercise is up to you. I know you are excited about costumes, but keep in mind that you haven't gotten used to them yet and they might limit your abilities. This special training is on an off-campus facility so we'll be taking a bus to get there. That's all start getting ready. Midoriya. Rescue training. One step closer to being the kind of hero I want to be. Venom. This sounds kind of boring though. Midoriya. It's going to be fun, you'll see. Zero. Who are you talking to Midoriya? Midoriya. A. Um, to myself I guess. Just trying to pump myself up. Minta, weird. On the way to the USJ. The students have a small interaction in the bus. The students discuss their quirks and Bakugu is made fun off because of his attitude. Aizawa. Hey. Hey we're here so stop messing around. The students get off the bus and see the USJ facility. 13. Hello everyone I've been waiting for you. Midoriya. It's the space hero, 13, the chivalrous pro who has rescued a ton of people from disasters across the world. Venom, has she actually been to space? Midoriya, no, you're Araka. MHM, 13 is one of my favorite heroes. 13, I can't wait to show you what's inside. They walk in the building and are amazed at what they see. Hiroshima, holy crap. It looks like some kind of amusement park. 13, a shipwreck, a landslide, a fire. A windstorm, etc. I created this training facility to prepare you to deal with different types of desisters. I call it the Unforeseen Simulation Join, but can call it USJ. Aizawa, hey. Shouldn't all eight be here already? Let me guess he booked an interview instead. Thirteen raises three of her fingers. Venom, that seems suspicious. Midoriya. What does? Venom slips a small tendril through the floor to eavesdrop on the conversation. 13. Actually it's something else apparently he did too much hero work on the way to school this morning and used up all his power. He's resting in the teacher's lounge. Venom. I knew something was up. Midoriya. So, something is wrong with All Might. Venom then retracts the tendril. Aizawa. Clock's ticking. 13. Excellent. Before we begin. Let me say one thing. Well maybe two things. Possibly three. Four or five. The class. We get it. 13 explains her quirk and that the students need to get a grip on their quirks in order not to kill anybody. Aizawa, right. Now that that's over, he points at the center of the USJ. Suddenly a stream of electricity starts going through the building deactivating the lights. In the center plaza a portal appears and a man covered in hands steps out. Aizawa, stay together and don't move. 13 protect the students. The portal in the middle gets bigger. Kirishima, whoa. What the hell is that thing? Venom. I got a bad feeling about this. A Namu covered in a grey and black goop, covered in a symbiote steps out of the portal, followed by a bunch of different villains. Hiroshima. Has the training started already? I thought we were rescuing people. Midoriya's mask forms around his face, completing the suit. Aizawa. Stay back. He puts on his goggles. Aizawa. This is real, those are villains. The class gets a bit frightened. In the center plaza Kirajiri finishes teleporting everybody and then manifests himself. Kirajiri. The only real heroes I see are 13 and Eraserhead. Perplexing according to the schedule we retrieved from UA All Might was going to be here as well. Back at the entrance. Aizawa. So you scumbags used the press as a cover-up and sneaked onto campus. Kirishima. How could so many of them get onto a UA facility this secure? Yeagarazu. Yeah 13, why aren't the alarms going off? 13, good question. Venom, they are using jammers. Midoriya. They are probably jamming outgoing signals and disabled the alarms. Todoroki. It must be one of their quirks. They carefully chose this isolated facility as an entry point at a time a class was being taught. They are fools for trespassing here. But they thought this out, whatever their plan. Tihei must have a concrete objective in mind. But what is it? Aizawa starts walking towards the stars. Aizawa. 13. Get them out of here and alert the main campus as soon as you can. Since they are blocking us. Kaminari try using your quirk to contact the school. Kaminari. Yes, sir. Midoriya. What are you going to do? You can't fight them on your own. There's too many of them even if you can nullify their quirks. Your fighting style is not suited for this. 
Your power works best in stealth and one-on-one -on -one fight. At least let us help, Aizawa. No. You get out of here. And as for me, you can't be a pro if you only have one trick. I'll leave it to you 13. Get them to safety. Aizawa jumps in to attack the villains, nullifying their quirks and taking them down a couple at a time. Midoriya looks at Aizawa fight. Midoriya. Guess I underestimated him. He's holding his own pretty well. Venom. Need to leave Midoriya. Danger. Midoriya. Right. And he starts walking towards the gate. On their way to the exit a portal opens and Kirijiri jumps out of it. Kirijiri. There is no escape. It's a pleasure to meet you. We are the League of Villains. I know it's impolite, but we have decided to invite ourselves into this heaven of justice. To say hello. And besides, isn't this a fitting place for All Might? The symbol of peace, to take his last breath. I believe he was supposed to be here today. Yet I see no sign of him. There must have been some sort of change of plans that we couldn't have foreseen. All well in the end I suppose it doesn't matter. I still have a role to play. During his monologue 13 prepares to use her quirk. Midoriya jumps into the air shooting his pistol at Kirijiri firing four shots of rubber bullets. Kirijiri opens a portal and they hit Midoriya in the back, being caught by Venom. So Midoriya isn't hurt. 13 gets ready and is about to shoot her bulk hole. But after seeing Midoriya get shot back Yugu got mad, and he and Kirishima jump in to attack Kirijiri. Blocking 13's attack, Bakugou creates an explosion. That itself creates a pretty big smokescreen. Kirishima. Did you really think we were going just stand around and let you tear this place to shreds? Kirijiri. You live up to your school's reputation, but you should be more careful children otherwise someone might get hurt. My compatriots will take care of you. Kirijiri makes a portal that swallows all the students. Many jump out before they get caught by the portal though. But about half of the class are still scattered in the UA facility. A pretty hard trial is ahead of them. Tune in next time to see how they get past it.